Diego Melendez, do you think that you closed the show for him, so to speak, of his career? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I think it should be the case. Now, obviously, you know, he's a veteran, but you're on a great win streak yourself. Where do you think this victory sets you up in the featherweight division? I don't know if a win over Gilbert puts me in the top 15. I kind of feel like he should, but a lot of people said I should already be there. But I, I don't you know, I don't know if I'm 40th, I don't know where I should be, so I don't know. You said, uh, you said that your leg was hurting, was that something that happened in the fight? That didn't happen? Yeah, I kicked him in the elbow a lot. Um, that hurts. <laughs> Any, anything in the match surprise you at all? No, no, not at all. Yeah, to a T. Everything was as uh, as we planned. Everything was as my team said. You know, Farad's told me everything we drilled, everything we went over, everything you know, we talked about. Is the key to just moving up the featherweight division activity? Because you know you have a great record. I think I'm sure you'd like to fight a little bit more. Yeah, I'm still 25, so I mean, yeah. I keep fighting at this rate. I still have like 38 fights for total months. So, <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of fights already. You know, I've been fighting since I was about 12, so I've had a lot of fights. It's not the experience, isn't? It? It's not missing. It's there. So um, I've had a lot. Is it important you as an Englishman to beat an American on July 4th weekend? <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, we're all red, white, blue, and we still have I don't want to be the bad guy. I don't want to be the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, are you going to go back to the UK after this, or are you going to uh, go back to Montreal? Um, I'm going to be in the UK for a week, and a couple of weeks, calling their teammate, Louis Sanzaki. Oh, that's right, for Bray. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be calling him there, so I'm going back to Montreal to help him for the end of his uh, camp, and then back to, back to England, sorry. <laughs> I missed my dog's birthday, July 4th, actually, it was my dog's birthday. So. Oh, no. This was a, a big <laughs> card, and you know, obviously, you probably have options in terms of where you want to fight next. Do you want to be on another big card? Do you want to be back in the UK? Where, where does Alan want to fight next? Yeah, I mean, the cards don't really get much bigger than this one, do they? So, I mean, it felt no different to find in the London card. Maybe it's because I'm that's my neck of the woods and uh, they give me a bit more noise. So, well, the arena in the O2 is pretty big, so maybe I don't know where it stacks over this one. But yeah, I mean, if they make me wait till London now, I don't mind. Uh, December, London, wherever. Did you feel the earthquake yesterday? I didn't. There's been two. People keep saying that. I, I haven't felt so. My, my girlfriend was sitting in the room having a panic attack. And I was like, oh, that was an earthquake. Did you think she was upset with you or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what's wrong? And I come back from the workout and she's sitting there. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Hopefully there's not enough one. Yeah. So you were, you were working out when it happened? Or were you just watching people shake going, what's going on? Yeah, I was in the workout room. <laughs> oh, okay. And I was, because I was like dehydrated. I did feel like a, I kind of stood up fast and I went like that. I thought, oh shit. No, I was a bit dehydrated. I thought it was that. <laughs> Maybe it was that. I don't know. Maybe I was just dehydrated. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, you're good. Yeah. <laughs>